Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing cozy mystery releases for the month of April. I'm so excited. I do one of these videos every single month on my channel, so if you're new, hit subscribe if you like cozy mysteries. We're going to be hopping into 18 new releases. We have crafty cozies, bookish cozies, supernatural cozies. We have like some food ones. We have a whole bunch of fun themes. So the first one is from a series I really love by Paige Shelton. This is called The Poison Pen. It's a Scottish bookshop mystery series. And this is coming out on April 9th, 2024, and this is book 9 in the series. So this one takes place in Edinburgh, and this one is shortly after the death of Queen Elizabeth so the II, when bookseller Delaney Nichols' boss comes to her with an unusual assignment. An old friend of his, living in an estate in the village of Roslyn, has found what could be a priceless relic on her property, and Delaney is going to investigate that. So could Julie possibly have an item of breathtaking Scottish historical significance in her possession? When Delaney arrives at Julie's estate, she is greeted by a legal team with a vested interest in the property, and Julie manages to remove these interlopers, but when Delaney and Julie are looking at the priceless item, they hear a scream and meet a much less welcome discovery, a body. And Delaney starts to investigate. She discovers that Jolie has a fascinating history. Her own mother had actually claimed that her daughter was the rightful heir to the throne, not Elizabeth II, because of an affair she claimed to have with a past king. The only evidence, however, is in the form of a purported journal that one of Edward's secretaries kept. And this puzzle becomes more confusing when a connection is uncovered between this far-fetched story and the murdered man. So Delaney's gonna have to read between the lines and put together these historical pieces. I really recommend this cozy mystery series. If you're looking for something set in a really fun area, Scotland, if you like a bookish cozy, if you like something that has a bit of history involved in it, I think you'll really enjoy this. Delaney's a really great character and I've just so enjoyed this series. I'm caught up on it so I can't wait to dive into this book. This next one is called Double Espresso Deception. It's Claire's Candles Cozy Mystery, book 10 in the series, written by Agatha Frost, and this is coming out on April 23rd. So our main character in this one is Claire, and she is in her 30s, and she runs a candle shop within the small, quaint British village, and she and her partner and her grandmother go to this, like, bowls tournament, and unfortunately something happens. Her grandmother is accused of a murder, and Claire gets involved in the case. And Claire comes across a woman named Julia who owns a popular cafe in the area and her insight is really really valuable because she knows all the ins and outs, the gossip, the community, so she helps Claire navigate the ins and outs and all of that. And Claire also is working to develop a special candle for Julia's cafe to kind of thank her or just kind of bring the moment to life. So this one sounds really fun. I love a small town community, a British village. It sounds really fun. I've never read a candle cozy but this one sounded really fun. Next we have Four Alarm Homicide, a house flipper mystery. It's book six in the series written by Diane Kelly and this one is coming out on April 23rd 2024 and I'm especially excited for this because I want to start this series soon I've read Diane Kelly's Mountain Lodge mystery series I've started it at least and I really loved it so I really want to check this one out basically in this one we have two cousins we have Whitney who's a carpenter and her cousin Buck who's also a carpenter and they work together to flip houses that have just come on the market and they're really excited for this one which is a fire station in Nashville's Germantown neighborhood that was built nearly a century ago. The cousins have just started the interior demolition work at the fire station when Joanna, who lives in a townhouse around the corner, comes by with a plea for help. She says that she owns the right half of her building and she proudly maintains it in perfect condition while the left side falls into disrepair because the seven adult children who inherited it years ago refused to lift a finger on repairs. Whitney and Buck never turned down a challenge, so they managed to acquire the rundown townhouse, though it turns out Joanna is only one of the many neighbors interested in buying the property once they've worked their magic. Then Joanna shows up at the fire station confused and rambling, then collapses, never to recover. Alarm bells go off for Whitney. She suspects someone could be the real cause behind this, so can she and Colin put the clues together and smoke out a killer? I love this cover with the cat looking up at the fire station. How adorable is that? And this one sounds super interesting. I've been dying to get into the series. I really need to pick it up. This next one has the most adorable cover. It's called Indecent Exposure, a Who Done Him In cozy mystery. It's book six in the series written by Heather Horrocks and this is coming out on the night. So this one's got a very interesting premise. Our main character is Vicky and she runs an inn with her grandmother and her twin sister and they do a bunch of murder mystery themed weekends at the inn which sounds really cool and 
everything's going pretty well for her. She's got like a fiance. She's doing pretty well. And a murder happens when the black sheep of the family, one of her other sisters comes to town. And I think the murder happens to someone named Luke Hill. He's got everything you would really want. He's got like a developing video game company. He's wealthy. He's got a fiance. Like he's got everything you'd want, but it looks like things don't turn out so well for him. So it's kind of the basic premise. I thought the cover was really cute on this one, so I wanted to include it. For those of you that love a good food cozy, this next one is for you. It's called Marinated Conditions, a Eugenia Patterson mystery. It's book seven in the series written by Tyora Moody, and this is coming out on April 23rd. So our main character in this is Eugenia and she is the mother to a daughter who's about to get married in three months and she is super excited. She's planning the wedding with her daughter and they agree to meet up for lunch at this barbecue food truck which is owned by the people who are going to be catering the daughter Liesa's wedding. So they meet up, they're enjoying the food and they learn about a bit of drama. Apparently there's a lot of competition between some different food trucks in the area and later on one of the competitors bodies is found in the food truck. Now Lee Lisa, the daughter, usually doesn't get involved with mysteries, but she is determined to clear her friend and like cater his name. So her and the mom team up. I love a good mother-daughter duo. I think this one sounded really fun. And food trucks are just oh, so delicious. This next one I know is going to be very popular. I know this author is super popular. It's by Leslie Meyer, and this is called Patchwork Quilt Murder, a Lucy Stone mystery. It is book 30 in the series, and this is also coming out on April 23rd, 2024. So our main character in this is a part-time reporter named Lucy Stone, and she gets kind of involved during this heat wave in Tinker's Cove. A community center is opening in town, and many people are really excited about it because it's going to be like a nice place where locals of all ages can gather and create, but others are against it because they view it as a waste of taxpayer dollars. The director, Darlene, is no less controversial. She is very intense. She's showy. She's got big plans for her new role, but Lucy believes the woman isn't exactly as warm-hearted or qualified as she seems. And that hunch deepens when Darlene and a young employee vanish and dismembered remains appear. Yikes. With lots of clues and few concrete answers, Lucy rushes to connect loose ends. There's the disappearance of somebody who had endured harsh treatment on the job. There's Darlene who's disappeared and she's made a lot of fast enemies as the highest paid resident in Tinker's Cove. And then there's a lot of rich ancestry and ties to heirlooms with Darlene that are worth either a fortune or nothing at all. So Lucy's got to sort through all of these pieces to solve this mystery. And, and the truth rests somewhere between wild rumors, a trusted friend's emotional new sewing project, and the authenticity of a mysterious 300-year-old patchwork quilt. And Lucy's got to piece this all together before she becomes part of the deadly killer's design. I thought this sounded like so much fun. I love the idea of like a quilting themed cozy here. And I think the cover, it just looks perfect for spring. This next one is a supernatural garden cozy. It's called Twinkle of Trouble, a fairy garden mystery, book five in the series. It's written by Daryl Wood Gerber, and this is also coming out on April 23rd, 2024. So our main character in this is Courtney, and she has a special gift. Not only is she a garden shop owner who I'm sure has a green thumb, but she can actually see things that other people can't, like fairies. And so one day her ragdoll cat is near her cat door, but there's also like a fairy portal, and so she's really excited to meet a new fairy that comes through the portal. And she also decides to buy like a new part of land to kind of do some more gardening on. However, there's some disruptions that are occurring in town. One of Courtney's friends, Genevieve, has been murdered and Genevieve has been creating a lot of enemies because she had sold her floral business and became an influencer but she started leaving these scathing reviews of like local businesses and entrepreneurs and just really getting on a lot of people's bad list because of all these just kind of meanness you know she was going beyond just a review she was being very like cruel about it for some reason and Courtney doesn't really know why but she starts to delve into her friend's murder and that's kind of the basic premise for this I don't want to give anything else away with a synopsis but it sounds really fun I haven't read this one let me know if you have or if you're if you've read any of these let me know I always love to hear your guys opinions on these series next we have one from Barbara Ross this one's called Torn Asunder a main clam bake mystery it's book 12 in the series and this one's coming out on April 23rd as well. Apparently a very popular date. I'm very excited for this one because it sounds like it's an isolation trope one. So we have our main character, we have our main character Julia and her best friend and her own like a clam bake. So her best friend and business partner is Zoe and Zoe's about to get married to a police officer. She's gonna have the wedding of her dreams and she's gonna stay away from the clam bake because a white dress definitely shouldn't be 
You shouldn't be within the buttery goodness there if you're going to be wearing a white dress. It's not, not the best idea. And everything's going okay at the wedding until a mysterious wedding crasher drops dead. And upon closer inspection, they actually find like an injection mark on their neck. So it's clear right away that this is not like a spontaneous death or a natural death. And everyone at the wedding is trapped on this island with the body and the murderer. So very high stakes, very fun. I think this one will be especially good for spring and summer with the, the wedding theme. I think that always makes it feel very springy and summery to me. This next one's from a very popular series by Tonya Caps. This is the Camper and Criminals Cozy Mystery Series. It's book 36 in the series and it's called Bonfires, Backpacks, and Brawls. And this is coming out on April 25th, 2024. So this takes place at Happy Trails Campground. And our main character, Mae West, and the intrepid Laundry Club ladies are plunged into a dangerous mystery when they hear unexpected gunshots during the bass fishing tournament. Not only this, but they discover a body, not of an animal, but a human, hidden in the forest with hunting season long over, and it sets off a big investigation. The victim was known for their deep connections to the wilderness, and they have a big web of secrets, lies, and motives that run as deep as the forest itself. May continues to delve into the investigation and she uncovers even more hidden pasts and personal vendettas, revealing that beneath the serene beauty of the natural landscape lurks a more sinister reality. I love the idea for this. I've been meaning to pick up this series for the longest time. I've heard nothing but good things about it. Let me know if you really like it. But the cover is so beautiful. I love the colors on this. It's so striking. This next one has a main character who's a hairdresser, which I don't see enough. I love the hairdresser mystery series, the Bad Hair Day mystery series by Nancy J. Cohen. And this one features a hairdresser sleuth as well. It's called Snip Once, Die Twice, a Spring Harbor cozy mystery. It's book three in the series, written by Amber Cruz. And this is coming out on April 30th. So this is described as a gripping murder mystery with a touch of romance. Our main character is Summer Snow. She's a hairdresser and she's really excited because she's going to be on this New Year's cruise in Spring Harbor where she's been living and she's feeling like she's kind of been accepted into the small town that I'm assuming she maybe moved to in the first book. So she's on this cruise and unfortunately on the dance floor someone ends up dying and it's quickly found out this is actually a murder and Summer starts to get involved with it. She's like okay I'm gonna look into this, I feel very drawn to this, but she also has some dark history and past of her own and she's afraid that her own past is catching up with her. So really fun, interesting premise and I love anything to do with like a cruise ship for a murder mystery or thriller because again, you're closed off from everything else. It's pretty much the people on the boat. So I love that personally for the trip. I have another quilting themed cozy mystery here. This one is a quilting cozy mystery, book six in the series written by Katherine Michael. And this is called Mending Mischief. It's coming out on the 27th. So our main character is Alex Bailey and she has gone to Madrid to really enjoy just the island beauty and to also kind of mend the soul of her past and just kind of get over some things in her life she's working through. She's having some renovations done on her place and she's also looking at, after a crustacean thief. She's looking for this person, which I found to be very interesting. But the more she looks into it, the more she starts to see the cracks in the town that she's living in. Like the, there's just different holes in the patchwork of the town basically. And some dark secrets and history start to come out. I'm assuming there's some kind of murder, of course, since this is, this is a murder mystery. But I thought this had a really cute cover. Let me know if you've read this. I haven't personally, but it looks really fun. This next one is actually a prequel to a very popular series. And that is the Tourist Trap Mystery Series by Lynn Cahoon. This is called Murder in a Tourist Town. And this is a prequel to that series coming out on April 2nd, 2024. So our main character in this is Jill, and she has a family law career, but it's in a rut. She's just tired of watching clients, you know, go back to like terrible spouses, and she's also learned that she's been passed up for a partnership again, so she decides to take a break. She's gonna have to dip into her emergency fund, but after all those days in her windowless office, subsisting on leftover cake from the break room, she's thinking it's time to get outside, it's time to smell some flowers. So she arrives in South Cove on the Pacific Coast and she finds a lot of friendly residents, a peaceful beach, and nature's beauty. But she also witnesses a shouting match between two business owners with a big score to settle. 
And when someone she knows turns up dead in the local coffee shop, she finds the town needs her skills just as much as she needs the town. It's time to set her roots where they belong. I love the idea of a prequel for a cozy mystery. I think this sounds absolutely fantastic. Gorgeous cover. So I had to include this one. Let me know if you're a fan of the series. The next one has a bit of a supernatural touch to it. It's called Legends Tea and a Ghost Named Re, a mother-daughter cozy mystery. It's Lily and Cassie by the Sea Mysteries. And this is book three in the series written by Nellie H. Steel, and this is coming out on April 4th and it does advertise a supernatural twist so keep that in mind this is definitely a paranormal cozy. So this one's really interesting this mother-daughter duo owns like an inn and in this small town they come across a body and they actually find the body and they end up being suspects in the case so this mother-daughter duo have to work together to clear their name and they're also going to be relying on the ghost at the inn named Re, who is actually a female pirate captain. What a cool, like, I think that's such a cool element. I'm not the biggest supernatural cozy person, but this one definitely has a really fun premise. And this one does take place a week before Christmas, so there is some Christmassy elements to it. And they have a one-eyed cat who's a part of the story. So a lot of great elements here. If you like supernatural cozies, I would check this out. It sounds like a blast. This next one is called Museum of Murder by Leslie Langtree. It's part of the Mary Rath Mysteries. It's book 30 in the series, and it's coming out on April 23rd. Our main character in this is Mary, and she is an ex-CIA spy turned Girl Scout leader, and she's in this small town, and they actually have this really quirky museum that currently has a murder theme to it, so it's featuring all these different murders and stuff, which is pretty interesting. I, I mean, I, I would consider it, you know? I'm not gonna lie. If I had a museum like that, I would go to it. I, I probably have a bit of a morbid curiosity, but let me know if you would. <laughs> but uh, basically, Mary is, you know, going about her business when the town is struck by a copycat killer who is starting to reenact murders from the museum. So there is this huge murder spree that's happening because there's a lot of murders exhibited on the museum. Mary kind of gets involved with it. She's trying to also keep an eye on her Girl Scout troop who's trying to like sell these snacks and things. She's also becoming an aunt because her twin sister-in-laws are both having kids at the same time and she's got to solve this before things escalate even more. So that's kind of the general premise. A very interesting premise. I have to say the ex-CIA spy turned Girl Scout leader, definitely a cool combination. Okay, this book has the best cover ever. It's so cute. It's called But the Spellcast Goes Wrong, A Murder She Witches Mystery. It's book five in the series, written by Kat McGee, and this is coming out on April 2nd. Our main character in this is Octavia, and I'm assuming she's on the cover here. How gorgeous is this cover, but Octavia is a retired teacher, spell scribing witch, and part owner of the Three Witches bookstore, and she has been finding her life entwined with baffling bouquets of flowers. And as the petals fall around her, she finds a lifeless body at Faithful Blooms, ensnaring her into a new mystery, which is far deeper than any cozy mystery she might write herself. With her trusty yellow quill, Octavia digs into the heart of the mystery to unearth the truth rooted beneath the fragrant mystery as she's blamed for the wolf shifter's death. So side by side with the sass of her cat familiar and the companionship of Cassius Morgenthrall, which is the town's healing hand who has a quietly stirring presence, she navigates the maze of mystery surrounding the town. There's a lot of cloaked intentions, whispers in the dark, and this crafty witch has to tease out the genuine motives from the lies. So very interesting. I thought this had the most adorable cover and like theme, everything about this. Just so fun. This next one is called Dog-Eared Danger. This is a St. Marin's cozy mystery. It's book 11 in the series, written by ACF Bookins, and this is coming out on the 23rd. So this one takes place with our main character, Harvey Beckett, who is about to get married, and to spoil her beloved dogs, she decides to book them a spa day at this new doggy daycare center in town. But when they arrive, like, like I guess maybe they escape or something from the spa, and they are not looking good. They're all like beraggled and everything. It's not looking good. She starts to investigate because she's quite curious, but you know what curiosity did to the cat. So very short synopsis for that one, but definitely intriguing. The main character in this also runs a bookshop, so this is both like a very animal heavy and bookish cozy, so two great themes that I know a lot of us love, myself included. Next we have one that's an alphabet soup themed mystery, which I 
never thought I'd say, but I'm super intrigued. It's called Biscuits and Bodies, a culinary cozy mystery. This is the Alphabet Soup Mystery series, and this is book two in the series, coming out on April 18th. So our main character in this is Jess, and she had a very rough time growing up. Her father, I think, is in prison, and her mother remarried and really favors her other siblings, so she kind of was left to do it on her own, which is terrible. But one thing she does know how to do is cook, and she entered her, her grandmother's alphabet soup recipe into a competition which she won and this inspired her to save up for a restaurant which I'm thinking she probably opened in the first book and in this one she's actually set up on a blind date and the blind date is set up by her general manager Noah I'm thinking maybe she works at a restaurant I'm not sure I'm not exactly sure I haven't read this series myself but she's really disappointed because she waits for her blind date for two hours and he doesn't show up and she's really disappointed because they had such a great texting conversation like he seems so nice well when she leaves where they were going to meet up she sees that the police have blocked off the street and she quickly finds out that her blind date was murdered and besides her own curiosity and now her general manager Noah begging her to get involved in the case she decides to kind of solve this mystery and get justice for this poor guy. So a really interesting premise. I like the backstory. I like uh, the characters that have kind of a complicated past like that. So this one really stood out to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was our last one. Please let me know what are your top three that you're most excited for on this list. I'm going to leave mine in the comments below, although it's going to be pretty hard to pick because there's some really good ones here. And let me know, did I miss any new releases that you're excited for that are coming out in April? Let me know and don't forget to like and subscribe. I do post new book content every week on my channel and all of it is within the mystery genre. So every from cozy mysteries, just kind of general murder mysteries, and thrillers. So if you like any type of mystery, you'll find something on this channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!